girls today is valentine's day and my little v-day pj moment this morning you're all my valentines i love you so much i did that face mask this morning and it kind of uh made my skin a little bit sensitive like my skin's a little bit red i love to put on the new night swim tea that launches today so cute. Mine is so wrinkly because I washed it and then I left it like this, crumpled. I'm not happy with myself. It'll straighten out once I wear it during the day. Maddie hand drew this. She's so talented. Look at the little deer. <laughs> it's the cutest little baby pink. The shirt is going live today. This is how we do these braids. Today is absolutely a jazz day. I have a little jazz playlist. Nothing screams Valentine's romance like jazz music. Oh, no, I get chills. I'm gonna hear a saxophone. If you don't like jazz music, grow up respectfully. I need to tell you about this. You've probably seen it on TikTok. I had not seen it. I went to Lush this weekend. The guy working there sold me on this so quickly. He's like, it's going viral everywhere right now. We just got a shipment in, need to try it. And I was like, okay, this smells so good. Almond coconut and oat milk hydrator that seals moisture into freshly washed hair and perks up dry curls. I literally put this in my hair on Saturday, Saturday when I went to the store to try it and I can still smell it. It doesn't make sense to me, but this is my new obsession for my hair. It smells like vacation. Aww. Ooh. Oh, okay, this, sorry. I know you guys probably don't care that much about jazz music, but this is, might be my favorite song of all time. How Deep is the Ocean? And it is the perfect song for Valentine's because it's about love. How much do I love you? I'm gonna cry. How high is the sky? Sinatra's version. Oh.
didn't plan to do like a Valentine's vlog or anything. Okay, let me be completely for real right now. I was going to film a week of workouts this week and then I realized I'm too much of a baby to film myself by myself at the gym. So why would I do a week of workouts but not actually film any of the workouts? I'm like nervous to bring my camera and like whip it out when I don't have someone with me. It's still a new gym. Okay, I'll get there eventually. I will do a week of workouts at some point. I just got back from Texas this weekend. So I'm restarting, or not restarting, I'm starting a new workout program this week. So this is the first week I'm doing it. I kind of based it off of what I was doing before, but changed it up a little bit. It's quite structured now. I feel really good about it. We can go over the whole thing. Maybe we'll do that today. I'll like show you my whole kind of plan that I made for myself on Excel and just what I plan on doing every single day. Yeah, we can do that. But right now I'm currently just making any last minute changes to the Night Swim website for our little tea launch this morning. I'm so excited. How cute is the website right now? This is our header. We did like a little photo shoot at an Airbnb. We did like tights and swimsuits and we shot the tees of course. So fun. We made the logo, a little pink logo for right now. This is so cute. We're so like random and weird and quirky and I love it. I changed all of these main colors here to be all little like Valentine's-y colors. We have all of our colors here if you ever wanna shop by color. But I did put like most of our little pink ones that we have in stock at the beginning. And then we have some of our little pink suits here, this amazing picture of sky. And then we go back into like the normal kind of layout of the website. So every time we do a different launch or something, I love to change up the website. It's one of my favorite things. I'm always changing the layout of the website constantly. It's so fun for me. We do use Shopify, so a lot of it is pre-programmed and I don't have to code that much, thank God, because I did not go to school for coding. If I was gonna go back to school, I would go back for computer science. Mm. There's this recipe that I came across on TikTok. I just keep seeing, I mean, my al algorithm just keeps showing me all these cookie dough recipes, like edible cookie dough. This is the one that I've seen. Look how good that looks. I wanna make it today and I wanna make a Valentine's twist on it. So I think we're gonna go to the store right now. which was one of the main things I needed to get to get another time. I got a bunch of chocolate. I've already shown you guys this one. This is the dark chocolate with sea salt by President's Choice. This is my addiction. I have this every single day. And then I got this one too. So this is the linden one. I don't know what percentage of dark chocolate this one is. I'm assuming it's darker than these because these are only 52%, but I am addicted to that. My favorite salsa, La Costeña. Green Mexican sauce, sliced pickled turnips. I love these, they're so good with chicken. Dish so guava. I got two things of Greek yogurt because I've been eating a lot of Greek yogurt recently and it doesn't affect my stomach, which is amazing. Got my honey, so this is raw honey. So we can make our cookie dough, we're gonna make it right now. I got these chorizo sausages, delicious. And then there was no Valentine's candy. Everything was Easter. Everything was Easter already. There was eggs everywhere. So I just ended up getting these. They're the M&M mini baking bits. So I'm assuming they're just mini M&Ms. And I honestly might pick out all the red ones and only use red for today. Cause I really wanted it to be, you know, like Valentine's themed was the whole point. I am so excited to make this freaking cookie dough. I want a cute bowl. How cute is this? 
I have these little bowls. They used to be my Oma's. So this will be absolutely perfect for our little recipe. First thing we do for our cookie dough is two tablespoons of peanut butter, Frick. which is 30 grams. I am gonna weigh everything because I want it to be exact because we all know when I eyeball stuff, sometimes things go wrong. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I've never actually like weighed a serving of peanut. This is two tablespoons? The way I've been putting two to three tablespoons on my oats every day, weighing stuff is so triggering. I didn't need to know that this was two tablespoons. 30. That is not that much peanut butter. I'm gonna not be triggered right now. Everything's fine. It's fine that I eat five tablespoons of peanut butter a day. How is that two servings? I'm unwell. That's not even... I'm actually like effed up over that. That's crazy. I actually put two full tablespoons of peanut butter on my oats and don't even get me started on my rice cakes. I easily put like four tablespoons because I do a giant, you know what? It's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Let's microwave our two tablespoons of peanut butter. Quarter cup Greek yogurt, which is approximately 58.3333. Oh, sh just dropped Greek yogurt everywhere. Tablespoon of honey. Wow, I actually hate weighing stuff. I'm triggered right now. One tablespoon is 20 grams of honey. Beautiful. She uses vanilla protein powder, but I'm gonna use this one, Santa's favorite way, which is monster cookie flavor. So I feel like that's gonna be perfect. And there's already little chunks in it. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little chocolate and M&M chunks already in this protein. So I feel like that's gonna be perfect. Look at that blue little piece of M&M. Okay, it's, it's looking like cookie dough. So she does one tablespoon of almond flour. I'm gonna do coconut because A, I already had it and I really like the flavor of coconut. Seven grams of coconut flour, which is one tablespoon. Added eight, whatever. I feel like hers was a lot more floury and dense. Mine is a very wet cookie dough, it looks like. We have our cookie doughs. I did put them in the freezer for a little bit. It looks pretty good. I think it's still a little bit wet. I don't know. We should try, let's try. I mean, that looks pretty damn good actually. But that looks cookie doughy. Okay, let's taste it. Mm. Mmm, <laughs> well, that's really yummy. It doesn't taste like cookie dough. It tastes like peanut butter and protein powder. <laughs> so it does depend on which protein powder flavor you have. It's definitely still too wet. I think mine needs more powder or maybe less peanut butter. Mmm, with the chocolate. Okay, that's bomb. Mm -mm. Just don't expect it to taste like a like normal cookie dough. It's obviously not going to. It's a healthy protein powder dessert. It's not real cookie dough. I think I'm gonna show you guys my exact detailed workout plan because why not? Every single exercise, reps, rest periods, every single thing for the little workout plan that I built off of the plan that Greg built for me why not go over it? I know people usually like charge money for these types of things for their workout plans and apps and all that stuff. But if you guys want to join and do the same workouts that I'm doing right now, it's four days a week. Welcome to what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to screen record and we can go over the entire plan together because why not? Let's talk about workout split first. So this is a very leg and back heavy program. In fact, the whole thing is basically legs and back. 
hear me out. That's because I feel like I get a lot of shoulders and core from Pilates because I'm going to be doing Pilates twice a week. So I don't have a ton of those. I do have some shoulder things planned in there. I personally am not really going to train tri triceps and biceps right now just because I don't care. I don't want to. I'm just not going to do it. I don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> if you guys want to add those in completely, absolutely feel free to do that. I just personally hate the feeling of training arms. I don't enjoy it. I don't want to do it. I love back. I love legs, love hitting a little bit of shoulders. So I'm going to train the things I want to train versus feel like I need to train certain body parts that I just don't really want to and don't really care about. I'm just gonna be so fucking for real right now. Here you go, you can follow along with me. I make my training programs on Excel. That's what Greg uses as well. So he originally made this over here, this workout program, which is just a bunch of different days that I could do in any order. I did this for about a month, maybe a little bit more than that. And I took that and made a very specific program tailored to exactly what I wanna do. So here we go. On Monday, I did glutes and hamstrings. And this is the workout that I did. So as you can see, I write out the exercises here. Then I write the sets, the reps, the rest, and the notes. Now this layout right here, this is all Greg. He came up with this layout. I'm not taking credit for that. If you guys need also specific programs or you want training, please message Greg. Go to Greg, I'll put his at here. He's so knowledgeable and amazing. So go to him. And then over here on this side, this is where I keep track of my weights. So on Monday, February 12th, which was this week, this is my little like notes section and weights that I used here. Start with calf raises, two sets, 12 to 15 reps. I always start with two sets of calf raises on my leg days because I have an issue with my lower back and I feel like when I do calf raises, it helps. So you guys don't necessarily need to do the calf raises. I'm not doing them to train calves. I'm doing the calf raises for my back. And I'll go over to the glute extension. So... I'm not gonna explain it. Good extension, then we do some hamstring curls. I prefer to do lying hamstring curls here, but my gym doesn't have a very good lying hamstring curl. Over to the single leg leg press. I like to do this on a like machine leg press is easier for me because then you can just change the weights very quickly. And sitting up straight for this one, I find is so good for single leg. Then dumbbell deficit reverse lunges. So I did this with just like a little step up bench. You just need a slight deficit. You can even just stand on a plate. You don't have to have a big deficit. And then glute kickbacks on the cables. Let's go to Tuesday. We have back and shoulders. Now keep in mind, this is the first week I'm doing this program. So I'm probably gonna tweak and change things. For example, when I was doing this program yesterday, I was like, I need to add a little bit more shoulders into this and take out one of the back exercises. So I didn't even do the hammer strength pull down here. I just felt like I didn't need it. My back is so sore today. So I think I'm gonna switch that out for another lateral raise movement. So keep that in mind that a few of these things are probably gonna change. We start with pull-ups. I wanna keep my pull-ups. Cross was the thing that got me able to do pull-ups and I don't wanna lose them, I'm scared. So I need to keep doing my pull-ups, <laughs> but I was doing six reps and I moved on to wide grip lat pull down. I just did the normal bar, but I also like the wider bar that you can hold sideways. Okay, and then Pendley rows. Now, this is the order I prefer to do it in, but the wide grip lat pull downs were all taken. So I actually did the Pendley rows before the wide grip lat pull down. Then I did some seated cable rows for my upper back. I'll put a little video of this here because when I was at the gym with Greg, he really showed me how to stretch into the movement properly. And oh my God, I think that's why my upper back is so sore today was from these. These kill if you do them properly so watch this video it's a game changer the hammer strength as i said did not do this one my back was already destroyed i think i want to add maybe like a shoulder press or something in here instead and then i did end off with the machine rear delt flies which was so good as well because i haven't done those in a long time perfect today's wednesday and we're doing hot pilates so i'm gonna go to that tonight and then thursday we have glutes and quads hi it's me from the editing future. As I said, this was the first week doing this program, so things were probably gonna change. I've already changed stuff. I 
did not work out on Thursday. I changed Thursday to a complete rest day because by the time I get to Thursday after doing hard leg day Monday, Tuesday back heavily focused with a teeny bit of shoulders, then Wednesday Pilates, which I used quite a bit of arms, core, everything. My whole body was so sore by Thursday, I could not go to the gym. So I just walked on my desk treadmill and called it a rest day. So I think I'm gonna switch that out <laughs> from the program. Thursday is now gonna be a rest day because after doing three workouts, I need a rest. And ideally I would love to do basically lower body, upper body, Pilates, rest. Lower body, upper body, Pilates, rest. But I unfortunately can't do that because of the timing of the Pilates classes. So instead I'm gonna do lower body, upper body, Pilates, rest lower body slash possibly add like a back movement or something on the Friday, but probably just keep it lower body. Pilates Saturday morning, cause that's when they have the classes, rest on Sunday. So I think that's just when I'm gonna change it to. I'm basically just dropping one of my upper body days uh, because it's just, it's too much. It's honestly too much. And, and if I'm really sore, I'm gonna listen to my body and not force myself to go to the gym when I'm really sore. So that's what we're gonna be trying out for now. I'll, I'll keep you updated on it as we go, but I had to insert this clip because I did not work out on Thursday and I'm not gonna tell you this workout program if it's not exactly what I'm doing. So, okay, thank you. Again, I'm starting with the calf raises, just two sets as a warm up. then seated hamstring curl. I know that this is a quad and glute day, but Greg does this, so I'm gonna do it too. He has hamstring curls in here, almost just as like a primer to get your legs ready. So I trust him, so I'm gonna do them as well. And I really liked when I trained legs with him doing hamstring curls as like a starter to get your entire legs just absolutely roasted. Before I get too far along on this, I also need to mention the sets because if you see some of them only have two sets listed, like for example, the hamstring curl has two sets. These are working sets. This was a huge difference between my programming and what Greg programs. So Greg always lists just the working sets. So that's not including warm up sets. I wanna be very clear for that. So you're not just gonna do two sets and move on. This is actually probably four or five sets total but two working sets. So if you look over here at the reps, eight to 10, 10 to 12, those are your hard working sets. But first I'll start off with one to two warm up sets to get up to the proper weight. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but when you see two sets or sometimes it'll say one set, that's the hard working set that you're like really trying hard to hit. Something where you have like a lot of weight, for example, this leg press one where it's two working sets of 15, I might need three warm up sets on top of that. So I'm doing five sets of leg press total. So this is something that I love that Greg does in his programming is he doesn't put, okay, you're only doing five sets. Cause what if it takes me longer to warm up? Or what if I do one set and then I'm ready to go on my working set? Like everyone takes different amounts of warm up time and different weights to warm up. So I love the layout of that. So let's go back. So we did the calf raises, the hamstring curl. Then I go over and do some hip thrust. So three working sets of 10, 12, and 15, but I'd probably do one to two warm ups before that. Then the leg press, which is two sets of 15. One big tip for the leg press that I'm just gonna say right now is, Greg literally changed my life with this. I hit legs with him when I was first getting back into bodybuilding and he actually changed my life with the leg press. I've been leg pressing wrong my entire life because I will, a lot of people you'll go and you'll press and the people will hold at the top and then they'll go down and then press and then hold at the top. And Greg was like, why hold at the easiest part of the movement? You need to only hold at the hardest part of the movement. What's the hardest part of the movement? When you're at the bottom and your legs are shaking, and then you push back up and immediately go back down. Me trying to like show you it. <laughs> so you're gonna go down. You can even pause for a second at the bottom. Push it up and go right back into the next rep. Push it up right back into the next rep. I can't believe I'm acting up leg press with my arms right now. But do you understand what I'm saying? Don't pause with your legs straight because you are just cheating yourself. And when you're hitting 15 reps, oh my, my heart rate gets so high. I, I'm like addicted to leg press right now, it's so fun. 
Okay, Smith machine split squats. <laughs> so for something like this, where there's three working sets of higher rep, it's not gonna take much warming up. So I'd probably do one warm up set and then do my three good working sets of a hard weight. And then dumbbell RDLs and then leg extensions. And the leg extensions at the end are, they're kind of like a burnout where you're just like hammering the machine, getting all that blood into your legs. I get so sore after this leg day, it's amazing. Saturday, ideally hot Pilates at 10.30, but I, even though I had an alarm, missed my sign up time because I got distracted by something else because I have no attention span, I guess. I'm on the wait list for just normal Pilates at 8.45 a.m. Hopefully I can do that. If not, I'll just do an at-home Pilates, that's fine. Sunday, full rest day, always. I don't even walk, I don't do anything active on Sundays. That is the workout plan. So if you guys wanna do the plan along with me, tag me on your Instagram stories doing the workouts. I'm so excited, we can do some workouts together. I hope you guys had a lovely little Valentine's Day. I am your Valentine. Don't you forget it. I love you all so much and thank you so much for the support. YouTube has been getting really fun for me again and I really, really wanna keep up with YouTube. It's my favorite platform. I just feel I can really be myself on here. Thank you to everyone who shopped today and got their little tea so we can all match. Have a lovely day. I hope you had a lot of chocolate today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.